Hi YouTube, Luminous Star here. Welcome to my channel, Luminous Star. If this is your first time visiting, welcome, and I hope you will come back and see me again. For those of you who are my stars, mwah, thank you guys so much for your subscription and your support in the work that I do here on Luminous Star channel. You guys are terrific. Thank you so much. Today's video is going to be about how being nice is manipulative yeah ouch <laughs> whereas being kind is actually being authentic so i'm going to talk about that today now this is something that along my journey guys i have come to discover about myself so this video is really my sharing with you guys some of the things that i've learned about myself so i think this is something that some of us go through so basically this video is again my sharing something that i had learned along the way all right so yeah as i'm here living and breathing you know like most people on the planet i'm i'm learning i'm a work in progress so uh one of the things that i've learned is when i was being nice that was a form of uh, manipulation whereas when i was demonstrating kindness that was coming from a real place you know that was that was me being authentic so i'm going to go ahead and break that down in this video i'm going to go ahead and go over three points as well as three tools and i'm going to go ahead and give some examples at the end of the video please hit that like button if you would and also send me questions to my email address that's listed below in the description box and of course i welcome comments <laughs> all right guys here we go again being nice is being uh you know manipulative whereas being kind is actually being authentic first point cluster b personalities such as narcissists yeah they are predators by nature so they tend to scope out weaknesses in other people right they tend to kind of watch people and scope them out and and they're like uh-huh okay mark that down that's a weakness okay there's another weakness so they tend to watch out for all of our weaknesses and again these are cluster b personalities such as narcissists they have an excellent radar for pinpointing our weaknesses so when they see that we're being nice they see that as a form of manipulation and they don't like that so that really pretty much tees them off. It doesn't make them want to love you or, or hug you and kiss you and, and accept you. No, it actually does the opposite for narcissists. I know. <laughs> it, you know, when I found that out years ago, I was like, I can see clearly how that would be the case. Because when you think about the nature of a narcissist, which is that of a predator, they're always looking for weaknesses. So when we are nice to them, they see that as us manipulating them. And they don't like that because that's a tactic that they use to, for a source of supply. Okay, so they, they put on that mask, right? And they're being nice. So they're manipulating you and I to get us to do something for them. In other words, source of supply. So when they see that you're being nice to them, they're like, uh-uh, I know exactly what you're trying to do. I don't like that. So you know what? I'm going to show you. I'm going to punish you. So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so being nice is a form of manipulation. Okay? So this is something that, especially narcissists, they're not going to feel all warm and fuzzy about when, when we do that. So that's the first point. First tool. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the tools. First tool. Be very clear and mindful of what your intentions are. So when you are being kind, I, I would suggest being kind to someone because that usually comes from a genuine place, right? So when we have a clear intention, then it's going, we're going to be authentic anyway. So that's tool number one. Be very clear on what your intentions are with anything, okay? Second point, some narcissists actually they're able oh you guys excuse me felt like i got something in my eye probably too much eye makeup right <laughs> anyway some narcissists what they're able to do is they're able to pick up certain uh you know weaknesses in other people just like i was saying in the first point 
Now, when they pick up those weaknesses, right? One of the things that they think that you and I are inviting them to do is to break down the birth, the personal boundaries. They think that they're, you know, they think that we have the door open and saying, yeah, come on in, you know, treat me any kind of screwed up way you would like. Because when we're being nice, instead of being kind, see, when we're being nice, first and foremost, the narcissist is thinking, mm-hmm, using one of my old tricks, <laughs> trying to turn that against me. Uh-uh, I know that one because I use that one. This is what the narcissist is probably thinking and, you know, thinking and saying to themselves. But anyway, it's like when we're being nice, that's to a narcissist, that's us opening up the door for them to violate our personal boundaries. Because when narcissists see that, they're like, okay, now they're, they're fishing for me to uh, accept them, to love them. In other words, they see that we are a person, we are a person that we're seeking validation from others. We are not very clear and sure of ourselves. We don't have a high self-esteem. We don't have a lot of confidence. So when we're being nice, a narcissist sees that as okay. Yeah, they're being nice because they're trying to get me to love them when I don't love them. They're trying to get me to be, uh, to be good to them when I have no interest. I'm interested in getting some of this supply. You see where I'm going with this, guys? It's like, so when we're being nice, that's a form of manipulation for narcissists and they think that that's one way to break down or violate the personal boundaries because they see that as okay they're being nice so they really don't care too much about themselves because they're sucking up to me to get me to validate them and i'm not having it i'm not interested in that so that's the second point second tool do not ignore your emotions your feelings what you're thinking don't try to, in other words, don't try to, um, to tiptoe around or walk on eggshells when it comes to your own feelings and thoughts. Those are part of it. Those are real for you. If you, if somebody, for instance, if somebody is hurting you in a relationship, don't ignore that you're hurting. Sometimes we do this guys. We ignore what we're feeling. We ignore what we're thinking. When that little inner voice is telling us that somebody is lying, we ignore it. So tool number two is don't ignore that, especially when you're dealing with a cluster B personality type, especially when you're dealing with narcissists. Don't ignore what you're thinking and feel, especially what you're feeling. Don't ignore that. Okay. So a narcissist, which, which is really interesting. Most narcissists, they bank and they count on you to ignore your feelings. That's exactly what they want you to do. They want you to ignore that inner voice that's telling you the truth when they're lying to you. They want you to ignore or, or stuff down what you're feeling. They don't, they're not interested in you defending yourself. When they do something screwed up in the relationship, they're looking for you to swallow that, to take it. Instead of standing up for yourself, defending yourself assertively. Okay, being assertive about it, not being aggressive, but being assertive. Narcissists and cluster B personality types, they're counting on you to ignore what you're feeling, to ignore the truth that you see right before you, the reality of how poor of a quality the relationship is in. It's a toxic relationship, right? That person, that narcissist is not going to love you. They're not, they're not going to be truthful or, or honest. They're not going to do that. So they're banking on you to continue to idealize the relationship and idealize them. This is what they're counting on you to do. So a narcissist, they don't want you to, uh, you know, be mindful of yourself, what you're thinking, what you're feeling, how you feel. Okay. And what you, you're feeling. They don't want you to be mindful period <laughs> when it comes to you. They want you to zero in on them. You know, pay attention to them, supply them. So tool number two is don't ignore your thoughts or your feelings. When, when your little, when that little inner voice goes off, you know, pay attention. It's more than likely is, is telling you the truth. Okay. All right. Third and final point. One way that the narcissist 
or and actually people in toxic relationships who behave abusively one way that they continue to repeat it to repeat this is because they're dealing with people who in the relationships who do not love themselves they're looking for everybody else to love them so when abusive behaving people are in toxic relationships with others what the first thing that they notice is that oh this person they're looking for me to love them they're looking for everybody else to love them okay this person doesn't intuitively that abusive behaving person such as a narcissist they know that you don't love yourself they know that I don't love myself if I'm in a toxic relationship with them so their little radar you know that little radar goes off in their heads like okay this person they're looking for me to value to validate them they're looking for me to love them so they don't love themselves so you know what why should I so we, I can repeat this abusive behavior so this is what they do so when we're in toxic relationships with people who ab behave abusively yeah they can continue to repeat this because we are seeking validation and love from everybody else without loving ourselves first without validating ourselves first okay so moving right along to the final tool which is be kind to yourself okay so this is where instead of being nice which is a form of uh, manipulation become kind be kind first and foremost to yourself so when you demonstrate kindness other people more than likely will follow suit they will also be kind to you a narcissist or a cluster B personality forget it because right from the start that is not what their intention is they don't feel that for anyone so they're not going to be kind or loving anyway but they will use nice being nice as a form of manipulation to get source of supply so when you are nice they see that as aha that's one of my tricks so they're trying to you know they're trying to manipulate me they're not gonna have it so when you are kind first and foremost to yourself then naturally and it will actually feel natural for you to go ahead and demonstrate kindness to others I hope that makes sense on that note I hope you guys enjoyed this video and wherever you are be kind to yourself be good to yourself and stay tuned for more videos.